Hey, what's up, B? Operation iDroid here, and welcome back to Shiny Sunday, a weekly series where I go out hunting for shiny Pokemon and give them away. In the last episode, we went chain fishing and found ourselves a shiny corefish, and the winner of that is Gills Willems. I don't speak English. I don't. I honestly don't know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry, but you can see the comment on screen. You know who you are. But anyways, in today's video, if you can't already tell by where we are, we're going to be going horde hunting. That is the method that won in the last episode, so in today's episode, I am here on Route 12, and I'm going to be horde hunting for some shiny Mareeps. We're going to find ourselves some pink cotton candy, and I'll see you then. Alright, so as always, I'm going to be giving you guys some advanced tips on horde hunting. For those of you that don't know, horde encounters are basically a new type of wild encounter where a horde of five Pokemon appear and challenge you. And now the reason that this is a good way to find shiny Pokemon is because you are able to encounter five Pokemon at a time, in turn making your hunt faster. And with the shiny chance being lowered in Pokemon X and Y, this makes for an extremely effective method. But anyways, my first tip is abilities. Use a fainted Pokemon with a useful ability pertaining to your hunt at the front of your party to ensure the correct result. In my hunt, I'm using a Pichu with static to ensure that I get Mareeps as much as possible, although you won't get them every time, but you will get them more, or you can use a Pokemon with different abilities. There's many abilities that help you find different Pokemon, like for example, Magnet Pool. You can use that. But anyways, my next tip is stationary. When sweet sending for a horde battles, don't move and continue hunting until a shiny Pokemon appears. Now, horde hunting for me is a hunting method of persistency. Just pretty much stay in one spot and spam that sweet scent until you find yourself a shiny Pokemon. Doesn't matter how long it takes, you can take breaks, it honestly doesn't matter, it won't break a chain, there's no real chaining in this one like we've done in fishing chain. However, I just like to stay and go through it until I find myself a shiny Pokemon. My third tip is run for it. As all the other shiny hunting methods that we've done Prior to this episode, if you encounter, in this case, a horde without a shiny Pokemon, then run from it. Um, like Friend Safari, like Fishing Chain, running away does not break your horde. So, to be honest, if you're not farming for EXP or anything like that, just run away. It'll make your hunt a lot faster. You won't have to take out all the shiny Pokemon, save yourself some PP, and save yourself some time. The next one is plug in. This is one of my favorite tips. I mentioned it in fishing chain as well, but in horde encounters, it's also very useful. Horde encounters, encounters offer very awkward camera angles, and sometimes you may not be able to see a shiny Pokemon appear. Listen for a shiny Pokemon sparkle with headphones plugged into your 3DS. And now, if you've done some horde encounters yourself, you'll sometimes notice that you can't see all the Pokemon on screen. And it would suck if you ran into a shiny Pokemon and didn't see it, but with headphones, you can hear it. On to the next tip, we have multitask. Horde encounters do not take much skill and require little effort. Do yourself a favor and multitask while hunting. You can watch TV, a movie, or even another one of my videos if you really want to. Because multi, uh, multitasking is quite effective, you know, do two things at once. Horde hunting does not take much, especially if you have your headphones on. You just have to listen to that shiny sparkle and like I said, be persistent and don't give up. But anyways, the last tip is time. Take your time while hunting. Just like many other methods of shiny hunting, it relies on numbers and a shiny could appear whenever. Most shiny hunting methods are honestly just numbers and tons of math in regards to finding yourself a shiny Pokemon and it's a lot of chance. So just take your time and do what needs to be done and hopefully with a little bit of luck and following some advanced tips you'll find yourself a shiny Pokemon like I've been able to do every single week for you all. With that being said, let's head back into my hunt and into my live reaction of finding myself a shiny Mareep. Was that a sparkle? Wait, 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 go back to the Mareeps. Hurry up, game. Was that a sparkle? Did I just... <gasps> Look at the left. Look at the left, baby. That is some pink cotton candy 
fresh from the amusement park. Yes! That is a pink Mareep, and it's female? Oh, yes, 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 game, thank you! Oh my lord, look at that Mareep, look at it, it's just chilling in the left, you know, it's different from the whole lot, it's pink. Oh, I just can't wait to give you a hug. And what are you doing? No, don't do that to me, Mareep! Don't lower my speed, come on now. Oh my gosh, yes! I'm so happy. There were some times that I wasn't actually getting a Marie Port. And I know you don't get a Marie Port every single time using static, just raises your chances. But I was really worried that I wasn't going to find a Marie, and I really wanted a Marie. And there you go, look at that, we have a Marie. It's on the left. And are we really okay? Wow, we broke through the paralysis. I was going to I was going to be a little sad if we had to wait another turn to catch this thing cuz I just want to get this thing in a nice and shiny premier ball as quickly as possible, but these Mareeps are just they're just gang banging me. They're ganging up and they just keep using their cotton spores and the thunder shocks. Mareeps, what are you doing here? I'm honestly just here to capture that pink cotton candy on the left, baby. That's all I want. But man, the only one thing that scares me about hordes is that I always have a fear in the back of my mind that I'm gonna misclick and kill the shiny Pokemon. Like that always happens in the back of my head. So I'm gonna play it safe when I get to the cotton candy Mareep because I always get confused. I'm not quite sure which one is the shiny Mareep, so I'm gonna fall swipe both of them just to see which one's which and not kill this Mareep because I honestly don't want to kill the shiny Pokemon. I'm sure you guys didn't, would not want to see me kill that. But man, these Mareeps are literally faster than me now. Like they've used Cotton Spore on me so many times that they're faster. And I'm, wow, okay, I'm honestly, okay, so this, that is the pink Mareep, my assumption was correct, so we'll take out the other one, I was right in saying that it was the female one, I'm actually kind of happy that it's a female Mareep, it matches the pink cotton candy look, especially when it evolves into an Ampharos, and when it becomes a Mega Ampharos with that luscious hair, ooh, baby, whoever wins that is gonna be a lucky person, a very lucky person. But anyways, we've got the last Mareep out of the way. We've already false swiped the pink cotton candy Mareep. All that's left is to draw is to throw our favorite ball, the ball of the operation, the premier ball, baby. So Mareep, I just need you to stay in this ball for me, please. Do me a solid. Oh! A critical capture! Let's go, baby! That's right! Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Shiny Sunday, I'm extremely happy with this hunt. I was honestly looking for this beautiful shiny pink cotton candy Mareep and I'm really excited that I ended up finding that while I was hoard hunting. But anyways, as always, if you would like to win this shiny Mareep, then all you have to do is subscribe, leave a like, comment with your friend code, in-game name, and choose my next shiny hunting method. This week, we are choosing either Poke Red or Chaining that lost last week twice in a row to Fishing Chaining and Horde Encounters or Soft Reset. The choice is yours. I'll be ending this giveaway for the Shiny Mareep at 500 likes and announcing it in the next episode of Shiny Sunday. So with that being said, I'll see you guys then.